Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised.
Ooh, didn't that look like a bunch of fun? Huh? Oh, I forgot to ask you. Shells in or shells out, huh? And you know it's cowboy style, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go over a couple details and facts about what you just saw, because I know you got questions, and I'm gonna answer them for you. The red powder that you saw on there is referred to as litharge or lithridge, basically a lead monoxide. The lead oxide converts over into metallic lead. That lead acts as a collector metal and will actually go through and pick up any small traces of precious metals on its way down. And that's what they use it mostly for. And the one that you saw has some fluxes added to it. Now we got that particular one from a company called Action Mining Services. They've got all kinds of great fluxes to use, especially if you're going to be working with sulfides. And that'll be on another video here coming up soon. The process you saw is referred to as incortation and parting. Usually in the process of incortation, they use silver or copper. You can use lead, but it's not commonly used. I know it sounds complicated, but when you add that much more silver or copper or lead, it's easier for the nitric acid to dissolve away those metals and leave the gold behind. And that's basically what we did is we encorded it with three parts more of lead, lead oxide, and then to the one gold. That's what you saw in the measurements. And so by doing so, we have all that lead in there. It acts as a collector metal. It runs through the ore that we crushed up. And as it pulls out all the precious metals, it collects into a big giant lead bead. So, oh, what's that? Hmm. Now the two liquids that you saw me using, one was distilled water. And the other one was concentrated nitric acid. You mix those on the ratio of one to one. And of course you put it on a hot plate and bring it up to temperature. Part of the process is dumping the material that you're working with directly into cold water so that it'll break up into what's called corn flaking. And the reason why you do that is so you add more surface area for the acid, the nitric acid, to attack it and dissolve your metals like copper, lead, or silver. Of course ours turned into a big blob so what I did was I took that and I hammered it into thin little sheets and those are the sheets that you saw me throwing in there. I wanted it as thin as possible and then with as much surface area as possible and by doing so you've got more surface area for that nitric acid to start attacking the base metals. The blue liquid that you saw in that jar was silver and copper sulfate. It's what's left over in the process. Oh those are pretty good. You want some? Now lead isn't normally used for this process. Usually it's silver or copper. Now litharge or litharge is used all the time whenever you're smelting down your ores that have a low content of gold in them somewhere around 30 percent it acts as a great collector metal and the only difference is is after you get a button of lead out of it what you would do is you'd pound it square you would put that in a cupel and then you would cupel that in your furnace and that's what they do today and in fact you'll see that process a lot whenever you're doing fire assaying mm. now as far as the copper sulfate and the silver sulfate go, you don't throw that away. That's that blue liquid. You can extract the metals out of that, and that's for another video. Now, that little bead of gold that you saw, we're going to be giving that away. And, of course, all the stuff that we ever mine out or find when we're in the field, we give away, too. And just who might we be giving that to? Come on, now. That's right, our premium patrons, like we always do. In fact, we're going to be giving away this bag right here we got out of our drip mine. We just gave away over 54 grams of gold plus a whole bunch of nuggets. That's over $3,000 worth. Now, I know most of you folks out there already know about this, but there's a few new folks out there that don't have a clue as to why I'm giving all this stuff away. So allow me to educate them real quick. Now, all the gold that we mine out of our drift mine or that we find while we're out prospecting on our own in the field or when we're having fun little demonstrations like this, all that gold goes to our premium patrons. Just our way of saying thank you for helping us keep the dream alive. So if this sounds like something you want to get involved with, I'm going to leave a little link at the end of the video that looks something like... Yeah! It looks like that! Go ahead and click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. And if finding gold nuggets with a metalling detector has been on your bucket list for some time, this is the perfect time to sign up because we're firing the tours back up. You know, the ones where they're finding fist loads of gold. Now, if you got questions, anything you saw today or what we just talked about, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get right back to you. And don't forget to smash that like button, son. Smash it real hard. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? You better know who, son. Saying you've got dreams of finding that shiny. 
but you think you're getting too old? Just sign up for one of our three-day gold mining adventures, and you'll be getting fistfuls of gold. Take care, everybody.